across the entire region spent the day brining roads while people shopped for shovels, salt, and of course the standard items to go along with bread and milk. Greg Argos has more on how Philadelphia and the suburbs are preparing for what could be the most snow we've seen in two years. Temperatures have dipped, the chill is in the air, and for the first time in months, almost everyone in the Philly region is talking less COVID, more snowstorm. I got my semi-annual, I panicked and forgot to steal the shovel from my previous landlord, shovel. A busy day at Fairmount Hardware where the go-to items were not masks, but shovels and ice melt. They come in spurts. David Arici is the co-owner of the store and says they're fully stocked and fully aware we are still in the middle of a pandemic. As you can see with the whole COVID, uh, we set up two outdoor sliding windows and put cashiers there. The customers have been extremely patient with us. Please keep in mind that this storm is very dynamic and could change any minute. So please follow news broadcast, news broadcast tomorrow very closely. It's been a couple years since we've had a sizable storm in the region. But Brad Rudolph, a PennDOT spokesperson, says the department is ready for whatever Mother Nature throws our way. We do expect a sizable storm, so we're, we're going to have all hands on deck. We're going to have all our state trucks out, which is about 180, 185 trucks, and we'll have about 270 contractor trucks to mix in across the five county region. Years old roads salt scooped and prepped in Newtown Square as Delaware County officials brace for the snow. Staff are getting rested up now because it'll, they'll be here for 24 hours straight tomorrow. In bed and not at the local Acme, like so many others, because let's be honest, is it really a potentially large snowstorm without the last minute run for milk, eggs, and bread? It's crazy in there, and you knew it would be. The bread and milk are flying off the shelves. Um, but I have what I need at home, plenty of salt and uh, shovels and a snowblower, so we're ready. Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.